The first time I saw tilapia uh, was rather grandly in Lake Tanganyika um, off the coast of Tanzania and, um, and I was diving there and they are wonderful fish. They come oh, yeah. in They're all fantastic. different yeah. shapes right. and Absolutely. sizes as Absolutely. well. They're an amazingly diverse fish but I never imagined we would have, you know, three <laughs> mini Tanganyikas in Wales. <laughs> At the heart of the aquaponics system are the fish. Hundreds of Nile tilapia swimming in iron-rich water, which acts as a supplement for the plants. So just really having a check of how our fish are getting on. That's a nice looking fish, probably around about 200, maybe 220 grams. Pop him back. These hardy African fish started being imported to the UK about 20 years ago and quickly are becoming very popular as a replacement for cod, haddock and other species overfished in the wild. So the good thing about these fish as well is that they're able to eat plant-based protein. So you think of salmon farming, that's the big industry in the UK, that needs fish meal in the diet. So part the, the quotes that they say is that six kilograms of fish meal is harvested to produce one kilogram of salmon. But with the tilapia, they can grow on plant-based protein. So you don't need to harvest the seas to be able to produce a good quality fresh fish. And when the fish eat, they obviously produce poo and wee. Um, and those, are, those create soluble nutrients in the water, which we then pass this water out of the fish tank. So this circulation pump here takes the water from each of the three fish tanks pumps it using very low energy, it's called a sequence pump, pumps it up through under the ground and then into these grow beds, which is gonna really act as our harvestable filter. The nutrients provided by the fish waste is ammonia, but the bacteria that live in the clay pebbles filling the grow beds transform that ammonia into nitrates, which is the main nutrient that plants use to convert into green leafy growth. But what is it about tilapia that make them um, such a good choice for a system like this? It's very versatile, that's the other thing. It, it can cope with a range of temperatures. It's very hardy, very easy to, to work with, very easy to breed as well. Mm -hmm. So you can replicate the fish yourself. You don't need to sort of worry about doing anything else. Most of the native fish are quite difficult to grow and, and different diets are needed for them. So it's a little bit more complicated. Tilapia is definitely the fish for an aquaponics unit.